macular degeneration. It's scary. Either your doctor just told you or, or somebody you know about it. Well, macular degeneration is problematic. It's one of the leading causes of blindness. And it can be scary. It can cause your central vision loss. It can you know, keep you from driving or even being able to read. You don't totally go blind with macular degeneration, but let's talk about the disease at first, but then let's talk about maybe why it might be a very not as scary as it used to be in the past. Well, first off, you know, it's called age-related macular degeneration. It generally will start, we'll see, see the signs usually beginning at age 60 up to age 80. And usually by the time you're age 75, 80 and the doctors haven't mentioned macular degeneration, you're home free. If you have a family member that's had it, there's a higher propensity that you're going to have it. Lighter skinned, uh, you know, Caucasians are going to have a, a, more, a higher chance of getting macular degeneration. So with macular degeneration, there's 10 layers of the retina. The light comes in, it re, the light's converted to a brain signal and it sends it off to the brain. The bottom layer of that tissue, I like to call the garbage man. As all the light is being processed and the nutrients are being used, the garbage man has to get rid of all the waste and, and take it away. Well, with macular degeneration, it's affecting the macula, the center of your vision, the area that gives you the highest clarity of vision. If that's damaged, it, it causes significant vision loss. And because that area is, is giving you the clearest vision, it's also working the hardest. So the area where the garbage man or the bottom of that tissue has to be able to remove the waste the most is right there in the center. The waste will start to build up. As the waste builds up, we call that dry macular degeneration. Everybody says, well, I have dry. Is dry good? Is, is wet good? What's Dry is better. Dry means that you have a little bit of waste deposits. Your vision may be slightly affected, but it doesn't have any new blood vessel growth or bleeding or scarring. Now, once the, the trash or the garbage builds up so much that the tissue can't receive the nutrients it needs anymore, it'll start to grow new blood vessels. These blood vessels will break, break bleed, and scar. We don't like that. The scarring will eliminate the vision from that area. That's where it's been scary. In the past, when you had macular degeneration, it was a kind of a wait and see. Well, there's things we can do to take care of it. You can use vitamins. You know, the green leafy vegetables are wonderful. Uh, tablets like Preservision, eye caps are wonderful tablets to be able to take. It will give you the lutein, zeaxanthin, and other uh, vitamins that will help nutrients and give nutrients to your eye. So those are wonderful things that you can do. Now, probably the, the best thing with macular degeneration is about 15, 20 years ago, they introduced some injections to the eye. These injections, once that blood starts to bleed or the blood vessels break, they can cause it to heal without scarring. They cause the blood to go away and the blood vessels to go away. That's wonderful. When we have these injections, it can help maintain and stave off or delay any you know, permanent damage from the macular degeneration. If you go to your eye doctor and he says you have macular degeneration, do what he asks. There are things that you can do, but you're going to have routine eye appointments to make sure that these don't develop. The earlier we catch the new blood vessels, the better. The earlier we start the, the injections, the better. Now, how many injections am I going to get? Is it every six weeks? Is it going to hurt? Well, it, it's not terrible. It's a good thing to do. It is going to be about every six weeks, maybe every four weeks, maybe every eight weeks, depending on the provider. But you need to stay the, the course. If the, if the surgeon wants to keep giving you the injections, I want you to keep having them. Um, if there's any hope, if the, if the surgeon's willing to give the injections, he still has hope that your vision can still stay, can continue to maintain itself or get better. So stay the course with those injections as much as you can. Now, are you blind with macular degeneration? No. You can still see and there's a lot of good options. Uh, low vision or vision rehabilitation can help manage any vision loss that you have. So there are things you can do. Take your vitamins, wear sunglasses, go to your eye doctor, routine appointments, and get your injections. And most importantly, there, if you do have loss of vision, you can go ahead and use magnifiers, telescopes, and other things to help maintain your independence and see clearly, even though you have macular degeneration. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about you know, the different surgical techniques or things you can do to help take care of your eyes, you know, like us on Facebook, like us on Google+, and subscribe to us on YouTube to learn more and keep up to date with your eyes.